Mubarak, you guys. I hope you're all doing well. Today is Friday, the 25th, March 25th, and I just want to prep for Ramadan. Today's like my first day of actually prepping, meaning like I'm going to clean. I just like to start Ramadan with like a clean room, clean office, so things don't really stress me out. And the first week of Ramadan, you know, you are going through like caffeine withdrawals. The first week is always the hardest, so I just like to make things as easy as possible on me with like a clean space. So if you are not Muslim and you don't know what Ramadan is, Ramadan is a holy month for Muslims. We fast from a little bit before sunrise to sunset, so we don't eat or drink anything. We're also abstaining from, you know, like saying bad things, having bad thoughts. It's really just our time to improve our connection with God and just become a better person. So I always kind of compare it to like New Year's resolutions. I don't really set New Year's resolutions, but I try to set like Ramadan resolutions so I can become a better Muslim and just kind of like strengthen my connection with God. So if you are not Muslim, I feel like still it's really fun to like watch these videos and kind of just learn about different things i'm going to be vlogging a lot this month my goal is to do about two to three vlogs a week we will see but you know i feel like when i'm not eating or drinking after the first week i have more energy to like put forth energy into work instead of like going to get a snack or going to get a drink it's crazy how much like food and water and just all of that like cooking and making food take up so much of the day so once i get over you know the fasting withdrawals or the withdrawals from the regular schedule i can focus so much more clear but anyways yeah so today is march 25th i am going to clean my room my office we're going to organize a few things we'll just do some quick time lapses and um, just kind of like show you guys some essentials I use every month <clears throat> because there are a few things that really get me through like, you know, being able to drink enough water and helping with my headaches, kind of like waking me up in the morning since I don't have caffeine. And you guys know I'm a big caffeine addict. I usually don't start cutting back on caffeine. I usually just go cold turkey, which is really bad, honestly. <laughs> like I even said this year, I am going to cut back on caffeine and that has not happened yet. All right, before we get into cleaning, I wanna show you my outfit. I got this matching set for $28, you guys. It is so comfortable. I just love having like matching sets during Ramadan because I usually look like such a bum. Like I don't really wear like matching pajamas to bed or anything like that, but I like to wear matching sets around the house because it helps me feel a little bit more put together when I feel just blah. So it came with this cardigan and these pants and I will say that the pants are a little bit long. I'm 5'5", five five, so if you're taller than me, they'll be perfect, but they don't even bother me like with shoes, they're fine just to wear around the house. And then I've got this Abercrombie uh, uh, bodysuit underneath, I almost said jumpsuit. This is the state of my office. We were having a meeting in here yesterday, me and my sisters. So we brought like three chairs to be around the computer. <laughs> and um, I was filming some stuff and so it's just kind of everywhere. And I'm in between like bringing summer clothes in mixed with my winter clothes. And then this closet over here is just a mess because I'm using it for storage and more like winter clothes that wouldn't fit in my other closet. So yeah, we're gonna tackle one thing at a time. I'm just gonna like clean up a little bit. We're not gonna do any like major closet clean out. During Ramadan, I want to like clean out this closet and sell some stuff, some clothes, because I have a ton of dresses that I just don't wear anymore. I might put them on like Poshmark or something. Let me know if that's something that you guys would be interested in.
clip of me um, organizing my office was yesterday and then cleaning my room was today and I just changed so I'm going to put together a little prayer corner last year I had my whole apartment to decorate I've always spent Ramadan living on my own and I would come home to spend time with my family but I'm always back and forth when I was working my corporate job I was in Dallas and now I'm home and it's kind of bittersweet because this is my last Ramadan before I get married so I'm definitely taking all of it in. I still wanted to decorate even though I don't have like a whole apartment to decorate, but I have a little corner in my room. This is where I pray, so I just want to make it super like nice and just somewhere that I can look forward to coming every single day. And I think if I do that, it'll help me concentrate my prayers better. This is my prayer rug from H&M. It's just a rug, so it's not thick at all. It's literally just a rug, but I like the print because it matches my room really well. I have like the top of it when I'm in sujood on top of the rug, so it's more padded on that side. But if you're just gonna pray with this, it's pretty thin, so it would be nice over like carpet or something like that. Then I got these two um, little lanterns from H&M. These are the ones that I had similar to the ones I had last year. I got some more of those because I couldn't remember if I what I did with them once I moved to my house. I don't know if they're like in storage or what, but I couldn't find them, so I got some more. Then I've got all my prayer clothes in here with my Barefoot Dreams blanket. This is a staple during Ramadan because Ramadan is the only time of year where I ever take a nap, and I love having my blanket, so I've got that. And then I've got my more colorful prayer clothes underneath. I've got this Alhamdulillah sign. It's from a company called With a Spin. And then I've got some books I just uh, kind of collected from my office, my room. Okay, I know I want to put my lanterns on top of these books. So I'll probably switch this. And then I've got some like twinkly lights I'm going to put inside here. And then I put the smaller books on top of the big one so I can hide so I can hide the little battery operated thing for the twinkle lights behind here. And I've got this one but it's not as strong, like it's not as bright as that one. That's like as bright as it gets. Then I'm just gonna put my throw pillows down here to make it like a little more comfy. That. Perfect. Just like sit here. Here is a little close up. I think it looks so good. Super comfy. I just wanted something like still matching my bedroom with just a little touch of some decorations. It is the next day and I just got to Dallas with Lena and forgot my memory card to my camera. So I I'm told using her my phone. She can share my camera. It's okay, it's too kind of complicated. <laughs> we just got to the grocery store. We're gonna pick up some staples for the month. My parents sent me a list that's on my phone. Mm -hmm. Um just, just like dates, stuff for mamul, um yeah, malachia, cucumbers, pickles, just literally all the staples. So we go to Sarah's bakery in Dallas. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of other grocery there's a few other grocery stores here. We mm -hmm. just like going to this one. So this is the one we've just been used to going. Yeah, to. we'll go inside and take you guys in. and then some stuff for the freezer and Lena got some meat. 
We got all the goods. And I'm so happy we missed the rush of people before it was so, so busy in here. I know, I'm so glad. Oh my gosh, people are like really prepared early for Ramadan. <laughs> Hello. Hi. 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 And us, we are prepared. <laughs> It's now a few days before Ramadan starts and I wanted to close out this vlog. Um, I wanna show you guys some of my like favorite items I use almost every day during Ramadan. It's literally like four things and I pretty much share these every year because they make such a difference, especially the first week when it comes to headaches because I get caffeine headaches and I need something to wake me up in the morning. I use an ice roller. I just got this out of the freezer. It's so cold. You can get these on Amazon. I'll link them down below. It helps so much with depuffing your face, but also waking you up in the morning if you aren't drinking caffeine like I'm not at all. So these help so much. I also got a new diffuser because the one that I had, I had for years and it just stopped working. I just got it off Amazon, but it's super clean and sleek and I just put it on my desk and I got some organic essential oils. Also, you can rub like lavender on your temples or the back of your neck or like your wrists to help with headaches, which has really helped me a lot. I mean, I've never really gotten rid of a headache completely, but um, those things have helped. The only way I can get water in is this water bottle. I have continuously repurchased this water bottle, this exact one, for probably like three years. It's 32 ounces. I fill this up. I try to fill it up like four times. It's such a good one. I actually take this one to the gym. I wanted one that I could just drink um, uh, while I'm at home and not take it to the gym because I like put this on the gym floor and all that So I ordered the Stanley water bottle It's like the stainless steel one with the straw that's so popular and has been selling out like crazy But um, it hasn't come in yet Hopefully it comes in in the next few days so I can use that during Ramadan And if those ever go back on sale or they're available I will definitely let you guys know And then my Laneige sleeping mask for my lips I use this all the time especially having um, dry lips during Ramadan. This is like a game changer. I don't just use it at night. I use it like all throughout the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm super excited to be vlogging all Ramadan, so make sure you're subscribed. We will be doing um, my sisters and I a joint charity that we will inshallah be raising money for all Ramadan. We have the details for that. Uh, I just, am, I we haven't like finalized everything, but I will link it down below so um, you guys can see that, but I'll talk to you about it in the next video. And I just just want to wish you a Ramadan Mubarak. So Ramadan Mubarak, I will see you guys in the next video.